Now the next chapter which we are going to revise is the chapter of E way bill. Very very important from your exam point of view. Why sir? Because there is a small amendment. Let's go ahead and get it started now. It goes ahead and says E way bill. Sir, can you give us a quick linking? Yes, Baba. Let's take a quick linking. Whenever goods or service is being supplied, supply can be either interstate or interstate, interstate or interstate. GST will be levied. Once GST is levied, it has to be collected and paid by a taxable person. Now, how will you go ahead and collect? You will have to go ahead and calculate GST is equal to value of supply into rate of tax. Once you know the value, you will go ahead and raise the tax invoice, create note, debit note. Government went ahead and told Ramesh, you raised the tax invoice, you went ahead and maintained the accounts and records also. What are you waiting for Ramesh? Please go ahead and send the goods to the other person. When you are sending the goods to the other person in a truck, on the way, our officers will stop him and tell him to go ahead and show an electronic way bill. Electronic way bill, a bill which is required on the way which you need to generate electronically. So the next chapter is E way bill, E way bill section number 68, read with rule number 138, 138A, B, C, D, and E. Let's go ahead, everyone, with E way bill. Now I'll go ahead and tell you first thing who is going to go ahead and require to who is required to generate a E way bill, sir? Either it is the supplier or the recipient in case of supply, sir, or it is a consigner or consignee in any other case. Remember always, E-way bill is not only in case of supply, E-way bill is for movement, okay, sir? E-way bill is for movement and not for supply. It is to be generated by supplier, recipient, consigner, consignee, whoever causes the movement. Always remember, if the supplier is unregistered, movement, if supply is unregistered, register and recipient is registered, movement will be always deemed to be caused by the recipient. Sir, where will he go ahead and generate? He has to go to eway bill, gst.gov.in and generate the eway bill. How will he go ahead and generate? He will go ahead and generate by uploading information in EWB01 ka part A, which is basically your transaction card detail, bill from bill to item detail which is basically your consignment related and transaction detail. Basically, you can go ahead and say it is your transaction ka details which are to be provided. Who is sending, to whom is he sending and what are the items he is sending. And the next one is part B is transport related details. Basically, transportation ka detail where you will go ahead and put the transport ka document or the vehicle ka detail. Okay, sir. Now it says, why will I go ahead and generate EV bill? You will go ahead and generate EV bills. Because you are causing the movement of goods of value, consignment value of greater than 50,000. Sir, there are two cases when you have to compulsorily generate EV bill. Always remember one thing. Number one, if your consignment value is greater than goods which you are transporting, goods which you are transporting, the consignment value is greater than 50,000, then the EV bill has to be generated. Or if you are going in and sending your goods interstate, for job work, then also even if one rupee kill you are sending from one state to another for job work goods, you have to compulsively generate eBay bill and interstate movement of handicraft goods by a person who was exempted from compulsory registration. So if I was a person who was supplying interstate handicraft goods or I am a casual taxable person doing interstate supply of handicraft goods and I was ex exempted from registration up to 20 lakh or 10 lakh under section number 24. Do you remember section number 24 I was required compulsory registration but section number 22 went ahead and told exempted. So if I am exempted from registration, compulsory registration, then I have to go ahead and generate e-way bill. Always remember these two people are required to generate e-way bill irrespective of the value. Okay, sir, whenever you are going ahead and determining consignment value, listen to me very carefully, everyone. If you are going ahead and determining consignment value, I have gone ahead and sent my goods for job work. There will be just a delivery chalan. Now you have to go ahead and see delivery chalan ka amount. If it is 70,000 rupees, EV bill is required because the consignment value. No, 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 no. Always remember, sir, if it is interstate movement to job work, then, sir, then remember interstate movement amount you will not see. Always remember, in the exam, they will go ahead and tell you, 70,000 rupees, job work ke goods are sent. Baba, you don't have to see the amount at all. You have to go ahead and see interstate movement to job work, compulsory e-way bill. Okay, sir, this point is clear. Now, I am going ahead and telling you, sir, whenever you are going ahead and determining the consignment value, how to determine? If I am going ahead and sending my goods to one person, 
always remember one thing taxable supply is supposedly 40000 rupees and gst is supposedly 12000 rupees the total is 52000 remember consignment value is this one it is inclusive of gst amount okay sir if i am going ahead and sending goods to one person tax invoice come bill of supply i have gone ahead and issued document mate is telling 40000 rupees is the taxable supply gst is supposedly 8000 rupees and exam supply over here is 10000 rupees the total over here is 48 plus 10 58000 but remember you should always delete exam supplies ka value now it is just 48000 eva bill is not required okay taxable supplies plus gst has to be seen okay sir sir if i am going ahead and sending goods to one person and it's a bill of supply bill of supply may there will be no tax bill of supply may it is 52000 then baba eva bill is required sir if i am going ahead and sending goods supposingly on approval etc approval pay i am going ahead and sending and i issued a delivery chalan please see the value of the delivery chalan if delivery chalan may you are going ahead and sending 55000 then eva bill is required because it is always consignment value you have to go ahead and see bill of supply or delivery chalan ka amount and in case you have gone ahead and issued an invoice, invoice plus the GST amount has to be seen in total. Always remember one thing, exclude the value of exam supply in case of invoice come bill of supply. When do you have to go ahead and generate EV bill? Always remember you will go ahead and generate a EV bill. You will go ahead and generate a EV bill prior to the moment in case of transportation by road. If it's a transportation by rail, air, ship, EV bill may be generated after commencement of movement also sir what is the validity of the eva bill always remember overdimensional cargo odc or multimodal transportation where ship 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 is involved less than equal to 20 kilometers one day ka validity if it is other than overdimensional cargo or multimodal transportation where ship is involved other than that in any other case it is less than equal to 200 kilometers ke liye one day ka validity got it sir now, whenever you are going ahead and sending the goods, rule number 138A comes into picture. Rule number 138A goes ahead and says, documents and devices to be carried by person in charge. Whenever a person in charge, who is the person in charge? In case of road transportation, the person in charge is the driver. In case of rail transportation, the guard or the person who is going ahead and uh, driving the train basically. Uh, sir, if it is rail, then it is the, basically the car, guard who is there. Sir, if it is road transportation driver, in case of ship, sir, the master of the ship, pilot, in case of plane, he, they are known as the person in charge. Okay, sir. Now, in case of road transportation, I am going ahead and teaching you now so that it's easy to understand. Now, you will always go ahead and carry invoice, document or invoice or bill of supply or delivery chalan. Plus, e-way bill is also required. If it's an import ka case, bill of entry is also required. E-way bill is not required if to be carried in case of rail air or vessel do you think rail may the railway car drive person who is driving the train or the guard who is there or plane ka case may pilot will carry the ev bill in case of all these three cases ev bill is not required to be carried by the person in charge sir always remember one thing one more point has been added because now e invoicing is done when you do invoicing you will get one qr code which is qr code having embedded invoice reference number if you have the qr code you can go ahead and say i don't want to carry physical invoice i will carry the qr code now when you take the qr code and go on the way means you are going on the way officer will stop you just show him the qr code enough he will scan and get all the details got it sir in lieu of physical tax invoice qr code having embedded invoice reference number also can be taken along now when you are going on the way rule number 138b comes into picture which says officer will stop you go ahead he will go ahead and see verification of document and conveyance he will do he will go ahead who is the person who will go ahead and stop you authorized proper officer is the inspector he has been authorized by the commissioner he will check the document he'll check the ua bill and he will go ahead and check the conveyance also and always remember one thing now once he is going ahead now sir if the inspector is not there can any other person go ahead and check yes baba any other officer can go ahead and check but there should be some intelligent information and that officer to do the checking should get the commissioner ka prior approval okay sir rule number 138c says inspection and verification of goods after inspection of the goods in transit the proper officer will go online and he'll upload a summary report in ewb03 he'll upload a summary report in gst ewb03 part a within 24 hours 
and he will go ahead and upload also a final report in GST EWB03 Part B within three days plus three days ka extension can be granted by the commissioner. Once checking is done and report is uploaded, no physical verification will happen again unless there is specific intelligence information that you have gone ahead and done something wrong. Okay, sir. Now, sir, I am being stopped for more than 30 minutes. Go online. Rule number 138D says you can go online and upload a grievance report transporter may upload information in ewb04 if he is being stopped for more than 30 minutes okay sir now li listen to me very carefully when you are going on the way you should carry documents and devices now commissioner can go ahead and notify class of transporter who will have to go ahead and install in their truck rfid device now it is not happening but commissioner will go ahead and notify those class of transporter who will have to have rfid device in the rfid device the invoice related details will be feed in means it is like the fast tag okay in that your invoice related details will be there when you are going on the way the rfid device will send signal to the rfid reader rfid reader will go directly to the server in the server you had gone ahead and provided invoice you had provided eway bill card detail eway bill and invoice will be compared and then the door will open and you will be able to go but now it is not happening it is just for your knowledge it will happen only once the commissioner goes ahead and notifies the class of people who will have to go ahead and use an RFID device. Everyone listen to me very carefully. Whenever you are calculating this one day, so EV bill is valid for one day. Today I generated evening 4, tomorrow evening till 4 it is valid. No, always remember in EV bill when you are calculating one day, it is midnight 12 to next day midnight 12. Okay, sir, done. We'll always remember this. Now, when you are going on the way, supposingly there is some issue happened. Driver started crying, sir. There is a breakdown. Are, my EVA bill will expire midnight 12. Baba, always remember, go ahead. If the breakdown is repairable, you can take extension within 8 hours. Means today midnight it is going to expire 8 hours before or 8 hours later. Means within before 8 hours or after 8 hours, within that time, you can go ahead and ask for extension okay sir so today midnight if it is going to expire today evening after four o'clock you can apply for extension or after midnight 12 till tomorrow morning eight o'clock you can go ahead and apply for extension sir supposingly there is some issue which happened and i have to change the truck only are a change of truck just update part b of gst ewb part b motor vehicle details have to be updated this that basically the part b of gst ewb01 which was there where you had uploaded motor vehicle where you had put motor vehicle car detail new motor vehicle car detail you put so it says if it is own conveyance or same transporter in whose truck the goods are going to go then he will just you just update if it is your vehicle if transporter is there his vehicle he will update but sir if transporter only change this transporter will assign the available to another transporter different transporter then assignment of eway bill will be done this transporter will assign the eway bill to another transporter now another transporter will update part b take the goods and go so if there is a breakdown or a transshipment always remember part b has to be updated okay sir done now when you are going what are the cases when eway bill is not required they can go ahead and ask a short question remember always when is it not required where goods transported are LPG or kerosene for public distribution system, postal baggage, pearl, precious stone, metal, jewelry, all these things, Baba, don't inform. Currency, don't inform. You are taking 10 lakh and going. Don't inform. Not required. Personal household effect, not required. Coral, if you are taking and going, not required. Sir, I am transporting in uh, uh, motor, it is not a motorized vehicle, uh, bullock cart. Not required. EV will not require transportation to or fro custom port, airport, or station to an ICD or a inland container depot or a container freight station. If you are going ahead and transporting from here to there or there to here, EV bill is not required. If movement is happening in notified area, which has been notified by the government, then EV bill is not required. If transport is, is happening of exempted goods or alcoholic liquor for human consumption or HP man, EV bill is not required. But remember always. In exempted goods, there is something called a de oiled cake, and de oiled cake pay government wants to maintain a control. And government is telling, although it is exempt, but if you are transporting de oiled cake, e way bill has to be generated. Okay, sir. Where supply of goods being transported is not a supply only under Schedule 3, where goods are transported by C 
कैंटीन स्टोर डिपार्टमेंट सी एस डी टू और फ्रो यूनिट रन कैंटीन और ऑथराइज कस्टमर When supply of heavy waters, nuclear fuels is happening by Department of Atomic Energy, they will inform. Ha, huh, sir, I am taking nuclear fuel and going. No, they should not be informing. Sir, moment is by defense formation under Ministry of Defense. Ministry of Defense will go online and inform. We are carrying AK-47, one truck and going. They will not inform. Moment is of empty cargo container or empty cylinders for refilling, not required if available. Where consigner is the central government, state government, local authority for transportation by rail, rail, rail. Government transporting by rail, if available, not required. Government transporting by any other mode, if available, will be required. Government transporting by rail only, they are telling if available is not required. Transportation from one custom port station to another, if available, is not required. Transportation is under custom supervision or seal, not required because custom control is already there. Transit cargo to or from Nepal. India may goods came, now they are going to Nepal or Nepal says some goods are to be exported through India, outside India. Then that person in Nepal will go ahead and generate EV bill, not required. Transit cargo to or fro Nepal and Bhutan, EV bill is not required. Okay, sir. Now, always remember there is a circular. Sir, if that goods are moving, supposingly there is a state of Karnataka. This is the state of Karnataka from one place in Karnataka to another place in Karnataka. What I did, I went ahead and sent the goods through Tamil Nadu. Always remember one thing because you went from other state. Might be the supply is intrastate supply. It's an intrastate supply because both the, this is Karnataka, this is Tamil Nadu. Both the supplier and the recipient are in the same state. It's an intrastate supply. But what kind of a movement it is? It is interstate movement. Always remember, it is interstate movement and central GST laws will apply. Okay, sir. Now, if I go ahead and tell you, this is the state of Karnataka. This is an SEZ unit. If you are going ahead and transporting from here to the SEZ unit, it is an interstate supply. It's an interstate supply. But what kind of a movement it is? It is a uh, movement which is intrastate movement. It's a interstate supply. But what kind of a movement it is, everyone? It's a intrastate movement. It is not an interstate movement. It's an interstate supply. But the movement is intrastate movement. And Karnataka state ka GST laws will apply. Yes, sir. Got it. Everyone over here now. So if goods transit through another state while moving from one area to another in the same state, it's an intrastate supply, but movement is interstate. DTA to SEZ, it's an interstate supply, but the movement is intrastate movement. Quickly tell me, everyone, are we clear till here, everyone? Yes, sir, we are all clear, clear, clear. Let's go ahead, everyone over here. E way bill may the second chart which is there. Remember, there's a part which is amendment. We will talk about it. E way bill, always remember who shall generate E way bill. Sir, transportation is by road, then by registered person as consigner or recipient, he can go ahead and send it. If you are going ahead and sending the goods in your own conveyance or you are going ahead and sending the goods or receiving the goods in hired one or a public conveyance, always remember, you only have to go ahead and update part A and you only have to go ahead and update part B. Since it's a road transportation, part A and part B, updation has to be done before movement and you should generate a EVA bill. If you are going to go ahead and hand it over to a transporter, he is going to take in which truck you don't know. So you have to go ahead and assign the EV bill to the transporter and he will put part B. So if you are going ahead and giving it to a transporter for transportation, part A you will update, part B you will have to go ahead and assign the EV bill to the transporter who will update part B that is the vehicle car details and then he will generate the EV bill. If you are transporting by rail, air or vessel, Always remember, part A also you have to go ahead and update, part B also you have to update, but here, one thing is that part B can be updated after movement also. Sir, registered person to update the railway receipt number, airway bill number or bill of lading number and generate the EVA bill. EVA bill can be generated before or after the movement also, no problem. But one point you should remember, railway will not give you the delivery only in case of railway. Railway will not give you the delivery of the goods. If you don't generate the EV bill, you have to show the EV bill at the time of receiving. Okay, sir. Some important point which I want to go ahead and tell. Transporter may generate consolidated EV bill in EWB02 indicating serial number of all the EV bills. One transporter has 10 EV bills for different people he has got. 
Now, then if we will do you think the driver will carry too much confusion? So what they can do is they can go ahead and generate one consolidated eBay bill by showing all the eBay bills in that statement. Okay, sir. eBay bill may be cancelled within 24 hours, but be very careful if it is verified within before 24 hours. Means when you are taking the goods and going, if it is verified already, then Baba, you can't cancel it. So it says it can be cancelled within 24 hours, but before being verified in transit. Sir, eBay will generate it in one state is valid across other states. So I am taking goods from Karnataka to Assam, going through other states, no problem. eBay will shall be valid. Always remember, railway will not go ahead and give you the delivery of the goods if you don't show the eBay bill at the time of delivery. eBay bill can be generated optional even if the consignment value is less than fifty thousand. Even if the consignment value is less than fifty thousand, eBay bill. E-way bill can be generated. It's optional, everyone. Sir, transporter, e-commerce operator, or courier agency on an authorization. I can go ahead and authorize a transporter, e-commerce operator, or a courier agency. And now they will only go ahead and generate e-way bill for me. They will only go ahead and put the details in part A and they will go ahead and generate e-way bill. It says on an authorization receipt may furnish details in part A of the EWB01 and generate e-way bill. Okay, sir, got it. Everyone over here now. Now, if I am a consigner, this point you cut it for the time being. You don't cut, I have cut it. Don't cut it, I have cut it only. I am the consigner. I am going ahead and sending my goods to a GTA. And then GTA will go ahead. I am sending in my truck. The GTA will go ahead and put it in a big truck from Bangalore. They went ahead and took in a big truck to Delhi. Now, big truck say goods were unloaded in a small truck and then it reached the consignee. How will the eBay bill work? Everyone listen to me very carefully. I will go ahead and when I am sending the goods from here to here, it says to the transporter's place of business. Always remember if you are sending the goods to the transporter's place of business, it's intrastate movement and up to 50 kilometers, don't fill part B. You can fill part A. Part B is not required to be filled by you. You can just assign the EV bill to the transporter. Let him update part B. But if you are sending in your small truck, to the transporter place of business, which is intrastate and more than 50 kilometer, greater than 50 kilometer, part A and part B both are required. Both are required. Now you will fill part B with this detail. The transporter, when he goes ahead and transports, he will go ahead and put his trucker detail and take the goods and go. Now, when the goods reach Delhi, then the goods will be unloaded in a small vehicle. Sir, is the new vehicle ka details to be updated? From the transporters go down, if it is going from the transporters place of business, if it is going to the consignee, intrastate movement up to 50 kilometers means distance from here to here is up to 50 kilometers, then only part A is required, means part B may let the trucker detail be there, you don't have to go ahead and update part B. But if the distance between here to the consignee is more than 50 kilometers, part A is already there, part B has to be updated, part B details have to be updated. Okay, sir, got it. Now here, there is a small point on the left hand side. See everyone, one small point. If I am a consigner, I am going ahead and sending my goods to the weighing scale for weighment of the truck. If you are sending your goods to the weighing scale just for weighing the truck load, then it is telling one exception over here. Listen everyone, if you are going ahead and sending your goods for weighment to the weighing bridge and the distance is up to 20 km, EBA bill is not required at all. No part B, no part A. EBA bill only not required up to 20 km. Document can be just delivery chalan. So if I am sending my truck, I am sending my truck to the weighment, weighing bridge. It is also known as, in Hindi they call it Dharamkata. It is known as weighing bridge, okay, where your truck will go and stand and the weight of the truck will be told. So there, if from your premises, if from your premises to the weighing base, the distance is up to 20 km, just send it along with a delivery chalan, eBay bill is not required. But if the distance is more than 20 kilometers, always remember delivery chalan plus e-way bill will be required. Okay, sir, got it. Everyone over here now. Now, now the part of amendment. Everyone over here, rule number 138E. Rule number 138E says restriction on furnishing information in part A of EWB01. Rule number 138E says restriction on furnishing information in part A of EWB01. Sir, what is the amendment? See, earlier it was telling no person shall be allowed to furnish information in part A in respect of a register. You don't cut anything. In respect of a registered person means earlier the wordings used were like this. 
no person shall be allowed to furnish information in part A in respect of a registered person who means they were going ahead and telling earlier that no one will be able to furnish. If I am going ahead and sending someone my goods, then if I am going ahead and supplying the goods, then I will also not be able to generate a bill. If someone is going ahead and sending the goods to me, then also he will not be able to use my GSTN number and generate e -way bill. Means the e bill portal was completely blocked for me, whether it is outward or inward supplies if I am receiving, my, tot my GSTN number was only blocked. But now they have gone ahead and put in respect of outward movement of goods. Now they are telling e bill shall be blocked. Basically the portal will not go ahead and allow you to supply outward supplies. When you are going ahead and telling in your e bill that you are going ahead and selling to someone, the portal will not allow you to go ahead and generate a e bill. But if someone is sending you the goods, he can use your GSTN number and send you the goods. Okay, sir. Got it. This is the amendment. Yes. Earlier, I will tell again. Whenever you are sending the goods, then, then also you can't use your GSTN. Whenever somebody is sending you the goods, he can't use your GSTN. Means the whole e bill portal was blocked for you. The whole e bill concept was blocked for you. But now... Only with respect to your outward movement, the e bill will be blocked. e bill, you will not be able to generate. But if someone is sending you the goods, he will go ahead and put your GSTN number. He will be able to generate e bill and send you the goods. Everyone over here now. Rule number 138, E says, Sir, be, when is the e bill blocked? e bill is blocked when you are a person who is a composition registered person and you have not furnished your GST, CMP08. For two consecutive quarter. Q U A R quarter. Okay, sir. It means I have to go ahead and furnish for every quarter. 18th go. I have to pay my tax and furnish CMP08. I have not furnished for two consecutive quarter. Okay. Being a person other than A means other than composition dealer, I have not furnished return for a consecutive period of two tax period. Two tax period means GSTR 3B supposingly. I have not furnished GSTR 3B. Normal person furnishes GSTR 3B. I have not furnished for two months or two quarter. Sir, why two quarter? Baba, now GSTR 3B can be filed monthly also, quarterly also. If I am a person who has opted for quarterly GSTR 3B, then two quarter ka GSTR 3B, if I don't file, e -way bill portal block. If I have gone ahead and opted for monthly GSTR 3B, then two months ka if I don't file, e -way bill portal block. Next. Sir, being a person other than A, means other than composition dealer, has not furnished GSTR 1 for any two months or quarter. If I am a person who has to file GSTR 1 monthly and I have not filed for two months, e -way bill portal block. Sir, if I have not gone ahead and fi filed for two quarter, I am filing GSTR 1 quarterly. Two quarters I have not filed, e -way bill portal block. With respect to my outward supplies only, means inward supplies, inward movement is okay. People who are sending me the goods, they will put my GSTN number. They can send me the goods. Next. Being a person whose registration has been suspend, suspended under rule 21A, 1, 2, 2A. Baba, rule number 21A may, even if I go ahead and apply for cancellation, when cancellation proceedings are done, going on, that time my uh, registration is suspended. When PO wants to go ahead and cancel my registration, PO can also go ahead and suspend my registration. When cancellation proceedings are going on, Baba, always remember, during the period of suspension, you can't go ahead and generate E, V, bill. A, B, C, D. Four cases. Everyone over here. Composition dealer, CMP08 for two consecutive quarter, not filed. A normal person, monthly return or quarterly return for two tax period, not filed. Sir, uh, normal person has not filed GSTR1 for two month or two quarter E, V, bill portal will be blocked for your outward supplies and sir being a person whose registration is suspended he will also not be able to generate e way bill okay sir everyone proviso you can go ahead and give an application to the commissioner and on sufficient cause being shown he will give an order in gst ewb 06 and allow you to furnish part a of e way bill 01 or he can go ahead and re reject your request also after giving you an opportunity of being heard one very important point i am telling you again everyone now earlier you can't go ahead and do outward movement also there can't be inward movement also to you if your e way bill portal was blocked now they are telling only your outward movement is blocked if someone is going ahead and sending you the goods, he can put your GSTN number, generate the e bill and send you the goods. Inward movement is no more blocked. Okay, sir. Got it. It means I can go ahead and get my goods, but I can't go ahead and 
do outward movement of my goods means i can't go ahead and generate uh wherein i will go ahead and say bill from me i can't go ahead and put but if somebody is sending it to me he will be able to use my gstn number and send me the goods here we are done with a <coughs> quick revision of your e way bill here we are done with your complete revision for e way bill everyone important chapter because of the amendment important chapter because of the amendment uh, points to be taken care e way bill when is it not required how to determine the consignment value uh, validity of the e way bill validity consignment value when is e way bill, when is e way bill required what is the how to calculate consignment value how to calculate validity when is e way bill not required rule number 138e these are some of the important points of the chapter i'll go ahead and close my chapter of e way bill over here everyone